Okay, T causes diabetes. Let's check this out. What if I told you, dood chai peene se aapka diabetes hone wala hai? Dekho, tea in general is healthy. But jab aap dood mix karte ho, the casein reacts with flavonoids jis se anti-inflammatory benefits khatam ho jata hai. So, isse sugar kaise hoga? Chai mein ketachins hota hai and this reacts with sugar jis se insulin ka structure or function alter ho jata hai which predisposes you to diabetes. Ab mein kud chai peeta hoon but I don't add sugar. So, honey, या जैगरी या आर्टिफिशियल स्वीटनर्स आपके पेरेंट्स के लिए सेफेस्ट एंड बेस्ट चॉइस कौन सा है फॉलो कर लेना अगले रील में डिस्कस करेंगे ओके क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग बट हाईली मिसलीडिंग वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ वेन डॉक्टर्स मिसलीड दिस टाइम फीचरिंग इंटरनल मेडिसिन रेसिडेंट डॉक्टर योकेश अरुण so yokesh made a reel which we also just now where he stated that drinking milk tea actually increases the chances of developing diabetes and his title specifically mentions that you know tea increases the risk of diabetes and he also states that adding milk to tea reduces its antioxidant and anti inflammatory you know power i think there is a lot of misinformation in what uh, yokesh mentions in the reel and that is because he is not read papers he is not updated about uh, papers on this particular uh, topic and which is why i have to do this video so let's jump right in so first point what happens in tea drinkers when it comes to diabetes risk so this study from 2009 shows that if people consumed more than or equal to 4 cups of tea per day that actually reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes now what type of tea was consumed in this not very clear which is why we move on to the latest study from 2023 which also showed that people who consumed four or more cups of tea per day had a 17% reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes mellitus and in this particular study they mentioned that it has to be high dose of tea consumption so if you consume less than four cups of tea per day Uh, the chances of benefits of the tea on diabetes is not is is unlikely so you have to consume minimum 4 cups per day now there is some more detail in the study which i'm going to show in this next slide where they have shown that regular tea drinkers have better blood glucose control and all of these patients drank their tea without milk or sugar so we are talking about just green tea or black tea and the study actually showed that the effects on glucose status with green tea and black tea was almost the same even the antioxidant capacity is more in green tea but with regards to the glucose control they are the same so this particular study found out that people who drank tea every day had more excretion of glucose in the urine and also reduced insulin resistance they had a 15% of lower risk of pre diabetes and a 28% reduced risk for developing type 2 diabetes compared to those who never drank tea so tea drinking is good as per the study no milk and no sugar now let's see what happens when you add milk to the tea, uh, to your tea so does the addition of milk reduce antioxidant effect this paper is from 25 years before which actually showed that addition of milk to black or green tea does not affect the observed increases in plasma oxy- antioxidant activity so adding milk doesn't matter do not believe me there's more so this paper from 2005 shows that adding milk to specifically black tea which we all commonly consume did not affect the beneficial effects of black tea on total plasma antioxidant activity so they measured the antioxidant activity in the blood of these healthy human volunteers and showed that adding milk uh, did not reduce the antioxidant activity so the whole aspect of some studies claiming that adding milk reduces antioxidant activity that's not because of the you know the milk part it's because of how we measure it so this study very specifically shows that the type of assay the type of method that we use to assess the antioxidant activity that was what was causing differences in antioxidant activities with or without milk in most of the studies so the different types of assays that is the abts assay the cyclic voltammetry assay the lipid peroxidation method assay when they tried all these uh, assays and they compared between assays they showed that some of these assays actually showed no difference in antioxidant activity and some of the assays actually showed it 
so it's not it's not because the tea addition of milk to tea uh, makes it bad it's because the methods that we use to assess it were not standardized or were not uh, very conclusive so it's not because of the milk so adding milk to tea does not reduce its anti inflammatory or antioxidant potential now this particular study i think it's very important and it's from 2014 a uh, very interesting study what they did was they took plain tea this is black tea and they added milk to it with and without sweetness so different types of sweetness so you have sugar you have honey uh, and you have stevia which is a non nutritive sweetener which is artificial sweetener just look at this beautiful data so they found out that uh, antioxidant activity when you add milk did not significantly change between uh, by from not adding milk so plain tea and milk fortified tea had almost similar antioxidant activity the small a that you see on top of these two numbers they are they are the same that is this is a and a which means that as per the uh, the, the below the table they have mentioned that if the same means within the column followed by the same letters are not significantly different so if it is a and a they are not significantly different if it's a different letter they are significantly different so here it's a and a which means that uh, adding milk to uh, plain tea did not alter its antioxidant activity very interestingly adding stevia also did not alter its uh, you know the uh, antioxidant activity but when sugar was added and the the three grams of sugar 10 grams of sugar was added even that did not alter the antioxidant activity but when honey was added the antioxidant activity was actually altered so the lo lowest antioxidant activity was when honey was added and it's it's basically 10 grams of honey in 100 ml of uh, plain tea with or without milk you can actually see that the antioxidant capacity is very very low so honey actually reduces the antioxidant capacity in tea. So if you're consuming uh, black tea or green tea with honey in it, know that the antioxidant capacity is least when you put honey. And uh, and it's most, that is antioxidant capacity is very high if you're using uh, a non-nutritive sweetener or artificial sweetener like stevia. Even sugar did not uh, affect the antioxidant capacity, but as we know, sugar does affect the diabetes part of it. So uh, I'm not going to advise sugar here. But if you if you want to have some sweetness, you may use stevia, which is actually a non nutritive zero calorie sweetener. But adding honey, it destroys its antioxidant property. So it's not the milk that is a problem. It's a honey as per the study, which is a problem. Now, uh, this particular study again, improves on what we already know. So we know that milk does not affect antioxidant effect. But what if we use different types of milk? So this study looked at whole milk, that is full fat milk, semi skimmed milk and skimmed milk. And they found out that skimmed milk decreased the total antioxidant capacity of the tea significantly when compared to whole milk or semi skimmed milk. So the whole aspect of uh, maintaining the antioxidant capacity within the tea uh, was possible when you used milk with had, which had some fat content. So if you completely remove all the fat content from the milk, which is seen in skimmed milk, the antioxidant capacity was actually affected. So if you use whole milk, full dairy milk, the antioxidant capacity remains, which is which is actually good. And skimmed milk actually reduces the antioxidant capacity. Now, what about diabetes? You know, when we look at uh, milk per se, does milk increase the risk of diabetes? This look at this beautiful study. This was done in uh, 2014, and it's a meta-analysis from the US cohort. They showed that. Uh, consuming yogurt actually reduced that is you know dairy and dairy product they looked at all dairy and dairy product and they found out that highest intake of yogurt was associated with the reduced risk of type 2 diabetes but consuming other dairy foods including whole milk did not increase the risk of diabetes so it was a neutral effect with uh, consumption of milk but with yogurt the risk actually reduced now in this particular study they actually showed that and this is from india and uh, they looked at 3009 articles published uh, on milk and milk products and diabetes risk and this is very interesting they showed that other dairy products including low and high fat total dairy product low and high fat milk and cheese had a neutral effect with no significant association with type 2 diabetes so milk is okay in patients with diabetes so it does not uh, increase your risk of diabetes it does not worsen your diabetes it's just neutral so the most important aspect is that you can have tea 
you can have milk tea uh, but addition of honey reduces the antioxidant effect addition of sugar obviously will increase your uh, you know glycemic index of that uh, drink and that can worsen your diabetes so there is the whole aspect of not drinking milk tea doesn't doesn't matter here uh, with respect to diabetes because it doesn't affect diabetes at all so please go ahead and have your uh, regular milk tea there is no problem uh, if you want to add some sweetness to it uh, use stevia now this is why i want to come to the last slide uh, on this particular topic which again shows that if and this is a review article which says that you know why does add uh, adding milk uh, does not affect or worsen diabetes because it's not just the casein uh, protein there are multiple other types of proteins and there are multiple bioactive peptides in the milk that actually improves insulin uh, reduces insulin resistance and improves uh, you know the glucose uh, handling capacity in the body so it's it's pretty pretty safe to consume milk with uh, uh, tea or coffee uh, but ideally i would prefer it as black tea or black coffee uh, especially when we are talking about tea i would prefer it, uh, i would prefer black tea uh, with a non nutritive sweetener to enjoy its full benefits but once in a while or daily a cup or two of milk tea is perfectly fine you don't have to worry about it at all now the myth so he said sugar honey or jaggery which is safest none of them are safe because all of these are different types of sugar so this is the biggest myth that you know if you if you replace honey if you replace sugar uh, refined sugar with honey or jaggery it actually makes you healthier it does not please look at the uh, calories and carbs in in jaggery honey brown sugar and white sugar they are almost the same look at the glycemic index jaggery has a very high glycemic index white sugar has 65 jaggery has 84 honey has 58 it has a lower glycemic index it's very sweet which is why people actually use very little of honey but there is a paper which actually shows that when you uh, replaced you know, refined sugar with honey in diabetic patients in an 8 week randomized control trial the study actually showed that an increase in hemoglobin a1c levels which is the three monthly total control diabetes that we look at the glycated hemoglobin levels was observed in patients who consumed honey so honey actually increases your glycemic index in the long term if you use it daily as a substitute for sugar and it's not safer than sugar it is definitely uh, as bad as sugar because everything is just different forms of sugar so please understand that uh, there is no safe for healthy sugar just like there is no safe for healthy alcohol because all these are different types of sugars and if you want to use a healthy sugar it has to be a non nutritive sugar substitute like stevia or sucralose or aspartate any of these artificial sweeteners are much much uh, healthier than refined sugars because of uh, low or zero calories now my last slide is i think for arul only uh, if he ever sees this video so there are two sorts of doctors and those who practice with their brains and those who practice with their tongues i think patients would prefer those who practice with their brains until the next time thank you for your patient listening